Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this seamless pattern in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new document. We're going to go to a new file here, and then I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Uh, make sure artboard is not selected because we are going to use the pattern preview tool, which you cannot use with artboards. Setting resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. I'm going to set my background content to transparent here and then just go ahead and click on create. I'm going to go ahead and access my rectangle tool. That is U on the keyboard. You'll, you can hit shift U to toggle between the different shape tools. So I'll keep hitting U, shift U until we get to the rectangle tool. And then I'm just going to click on the canvas and then I'm just going to create a square the size of my canvas. We're going to go 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, clicking on OK. Uh, accessing the move tool via on the keyboard, we'll just align this to the center here. And then I'm just going to convert this to a smart object. So I'm going to go right click, convert to smart object. And then I'll click into my smart object here. We can turn off this rectangle layer and then just add a new layer. Uh, why I did this is because I'm going to be repeating my object in my original document. So I'm just going to start by working with it as a smart object. That way when I go to duplicate it in my, in my original document, I can make changes to the smart object if I need to and it will be reflected in the duplicates. Accessing my rectangle tool here, let's go ahead and just draw out a rectangle. Accessing the move tool V here, we'll just kind of position it here for now. And then I'm going to create a circle. So I'm going to hit shift U until I get to uh, my circle tool. And then just I'm going to hit shift click to draw out a perfect circle here. And then if you hold and then while holding those and you hit the shift button, you can kind of position it where you want it to see if it's the right size. So let's just make it a little bit bigger there. And then let's go ahead and change the color. So uh, one thing I've noticed here is that it's created it in the same layer and I actually don't want that. So let's go ahead and undo that command Z. We'll create a new uh, layer here and then let's uh, draw out that circle again. So shift click using the space bar to move it to where we want it. And then we'll just select there. And then let's go ahead and choose a color. I'm just going to select red from my color swatches here. Accessing the move tool V here just to position it uh, where I want it here. We'll bring it down a little bit there. And then I want to create a different color of the corner of this rectangle where it intercepts with the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to command click on this layer icon here. We'll select this rectangle layer and I'm actually going to rasterize this layer. So I'm going to right click rasterize this layer. Uh, that way it's no longer a shape layer. And then with this layer selected, I'm going to select the marquee tool, which is M on the keyboard. And that just allows me to right click and then do layer by cut. Now we've seen the layers panel, that part of that rectangle has become its own layer. And we could have done this with the circle as well. Um, but in this case, it became the corner of the rectangle. And I'm just going to drag this uh, circle shape down here. Taking this layer here, I'm going to lock the pixels here. And then right now we have white as our background color. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command and the delete key for Mac users. That would be control backspace to fill in that background color. And so we have that kind of overlapping um, intersecting shape effect here. Let's go back to the rectangle tool. So I'm going to go shift U to access the rectangle tool here and then I want more of a skinny rectangle so let's kind of draw out a skinny rectangle here. Getting the move tool V on the keyboard. I'm going to bring it here and then let's rotate this a bit. And then I'm actually going to make this a little bit longer here so I'm just going to pull on the I'm just going to pull on the transform tools here. We'll select OK there. 
and then just positioning it um, over our rectangle here bring it up a little bit okay and then let's go ahead and duplicate that command or control J and then we'll get a second one bringing it over here a little bit okay and then I want to create that same effect where we get a little bit of that cut out so this time I'm going to uh, make that change to this rectangle so I'm going to right click and let's go ahead and rasterize this layer here and then we'll select that rectangle again you'll just command or control click on the icon here in the layers panel that selects that uh, rectangle area there we'll click on the object that we want to uh, cut and then we'll select the marquee tool M on the keyboard and again that just lets us go right click here and we'll go layer via cut and that divides our rectangle in two and then to change the color of this layer we will lock those pixels and then let's make it white again I'm going to go command delete for Mac users that's control backspace for PC to fill in our white of that uh, shape there uh, let's go ahead and create a new layer here and then I'm going to switch my default colors back to black by hitting the D key and then I'm going to create a couple circles so let's go shift U uh, to get back to the ellipse shape tool here and then let's hit shift click just to draw out a couple of circles here we'll go V for the move tool and then just positioning this over here and then we'll duplicate that command or control J dragging it down highlighting over those two let's go ahead and duplicate them command or control J and then we'll just move that one more time here to where we have uh, four there in a row uh, so this is going to be uh, the basis of my object here and then I'm just going to highlight all of these layers and then I'm just going to rotate them together a little bit here to get a little bit more of a shape there and then let's just kind of center it a little bit here in our smart object and then we'll select OK there and so we have the basis of our shape so let's go ahead and save this command or control S and then we'll go command or control W to exit out and now we have our shape here which is a smart object that we can always click back into our smart object and make changes to uh, but we have um, our object here uh, so the next step is I'm going to zoom out a little bit command or control with the minus key and then I'm going to bring up the pattern preview tool you're going to go to view pattern preview and we can zoom out a little bit more and that lets you see uh, repeats of your object here so we have our object here I'm, I want to go ahead and make this object smaller so I'm going to go command or control T and then let's bring it down maybe 75 percent here we'll go ahead and accept that change there and then uh, let's make a duplicate command or control J and then we'll drag this to the side here uh, we can drag it to the corner here to get a dot style pattern here let's go ahead and add a background color so I'm going to bring a solid color uh, fill layer here uh, let's just select white FFF for the moment I will drag this color fill layer to the bottom here uh, let's go ahead and define this as a pattern so we'll go to edit to find pattern give your pattern name and then just click on OK we'll bring up the patterns window here scrolling all the way to the bottom I can see my newly created pattern here if you do not see your patterns window you'll go to window and select patterns here let's go ahead and open up a new document we'll go to file new uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels um, this time I'm going to select artboards just in case you want to make more than one artboard and then we'll just click on create here uh, for this I'm going to use one of my actions uh, that I've created in my uh, Photoshop actions for pattern design and that basically just creates a color fill layer at the top with a clipping mask to a pattern fill layer and another color fill layers to create these layers you can just click on here we have this is the solid color layer and then you have the pattern color layer here 
Um, because we have already colored our pattern, I'm going to turn off this top layer. We'll select the pattern fill layer, selecting our newly created pattern. Uh, with the pattern fill layer, you can always uh, double click if you want to uh, change the scale of your pattern, maybe make it a little bit smaller here you can. If you want to adjust how it's positioned um, on the page, you can do that. If you want to get back to the original, you click on snap to origin. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK here. And then to export this as digital scrapbook paper, you can just go to File, Export, Export As. Here under File Settings, you'll hit the drop down arrow and select JPEGs. Quality, uh, typically you want high quality, so you can drag it up. Uh, just note that the higher the quality, um, the larger the file size here. And then just scrolling down under Color Space, I like to uh, make sure Embed Color Profile is selected and then just click, click to export your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create uh, this pattern in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, with this pattern, we looked at creating the kind of cutout effect here. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.